Good morning. Good morning. So I feel like we've moved into what is fake spring before second winter here. <laughs> and so it's nice to see all the sun and snow melting, mm -hmm. but uh, I will not put my guard down as to South Dakota's winters around here. But I'm glad that uh, we're seeing all this and back at the library. Yeah. So it's nice to have the sunshine. What's going on at the library this week? Uh, well, we've got today is our music makers and our puppeteers will be practicing tonight because Thursday night we have a puppet show coming up. What's the puppet show about? Uh, we are doing a um, St. Patrick's Day theme Ooh. since that's coming up in just a few weeks. Yeah, so we've got week. kind of a fairy tale twist on a little red hen, but instead it is little old Little Green O'Glen and the Leprechauns. It's a long name, man. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> what else? So we got uh, story time today. Yeah. And, and the puppet show on Thursday, okay. and that's for the kids. Okay. Uh, we've got our ongoing anime club for the teens to, on Wednesday afternoons. And then for the adults, there's a craft class tonight on making map roses. Okay. And lecture series on Mondays that they yeah. can find out about too. Yes, yes. And um, tech have, help Wednesdays. Tech help drop in tech help Wednesday nights. Okay. And yes, for all this month, every Monday night, they're discussing a different book on kind of information literacy and different disinformation, which is kind of really timely at the moment. <laughs> Very much so. I know there was a big crowd last night too. Mm -hmm. So yeah, over 80 people here which is amazing. And then this continues for four weeks, right? Yep. Four more yep. weeks. Yep. So, and all that information can be found in our newsletter. newsletter. And uh, there's a flyer at the front desk for that lecture series on cool. what books they're going to be discussing and who's going to be discuss, you know, and what the topic of the lecture is. Cool. And then census taking, it's it got to be starting soon, yep. I feel like. Yeah. Library is a place where you can come and take it and mm -hmm. get help. Mm -hmm. uh, so, man, the library's hopping. We're busy, busy, busy. Yeah, and next week we'll actually be having the ribbon cutting for oh, our right. brand new mural. So if you haven't stopped by to see it, you know, you could stop by and see it for the ribbon cutting. But it is there fabulous. Will, there will be snacks, I know. It, some, it some, is amazing. But next Tuesday at 3 o'clock is the ribbon cutting mm -hmm. coming here. Mm -hmm. It's really... Uh, like it's amazing what art can do to a place or whatever. Yeah. That it just really brightens that space up up there. So, and the library deserves it. You guys do amazing things for our community. So. We try. <laughs> uh, Arts Council. This week we have our oil painting class that meets Friday and Saturday. Mm -hmm. We have a computer animation. So you have to, you have to have an iPad for the class. Okay. And you come and the instructor teaches you how to do like uh, animation drawings through the, your iPad. There's okay. a certain app that you can do. Um, and then we have next week cupcake class and we have all of our seven clubs that meet. But this Thursday is our opening for a high school exhibition. Wonderful. So I've seen some of those pictures on Facebook. They are quite good. And so the middle school is down, it's back at the mm -hmm. middle school, and we've moved on to some high school drawings right before they start celebrating with Coffee Clatch and stuff. Yeah, we'll get a and I've been to the Coffee Clatch the last several years, and the artwork at the Brookings High School is just amazing. The art department there is fabulous. They, they do a spectacular job. They are doing a really, really great job. Mm -hmm. And the drawings are really phenomenal. Some of them are mm -hmm. just really, really great. What uh, books did you bring today? Well, you were talking about Art Transforming a Space. This is okay. a brand new book that I just got. This is called Parker Looks Up. Okay. And uh, the inspiration for this book actually came from a photo that went viral. Okay. This little girl loves going to dance class and all kinds of things in the D.C. area. And one time, uh, her and her mom decided instead of going to dance class, well, it was something they did frequently, they went to the Museum of Art. And they're going and they were looking through all the paintings. So this will take you through many of the paintings of all different kinds of things that she saw, like different types of drawings. And she's going through and she's admiring them and interacting with the paintings. But then she sees a painting of Michelle Obama. And it was... They, um, the photograph, like I said, went viral online of this little three-year-old just being mesmerized because it was the first time she really saw somebody that reflected her. She's sure. an African-American little girl, and she thought she just looked like a queen in this beautiful uh, portrait. So, you know, it was just her seeing 
just such a regal looking figure that sure. looked contemporary and reminded her her of herself. So again, it's kind of that, um, how you can get that emotional connection through art. So I thought this was a very interesting book. And like I said, I just got it at the library. Today's the first day it's going out, cool. but I saved it because I thought it would be a great one to highlight. Well, and that portrait that <clears throat> they're talking about is in the National Gallery, right? Yep. The ones, mm -hmm. and if everyone remembers, the ones that they did, uh, uh, Michelle Obama and then President Obama were so different than what the traditional looking mm -hmm. presidential portraits are, but they are amazing, mm -hmm. like really, really beautiful things. And you can Google those online to look at the official ones, but they are, they're, they're gorgeous. So yes, I have with me Margaret and the moon, and this is about Margaret Hamilton. She was into music and art and reading, but she was also into math. Mm -hmm. And so she ended up being a woman who worked for NASA and helped coded all the information that they needed for the Apollo station. Yes, so, yeah. yeah, and it talks about all of her uh, as a woman pursuing those kind of dreams mm -hmm. and everything. Um, it, it's one of those where it you can be involved with, as a girl, always want to encourage both your love of art and music and everything, but also you can love mathematics and yep. that and kind science. of stuff. Science and this is a well. perfect month for it because Women's History Month. Right. And actually our display this month, we're highlighting uh, women uh, scientists and also ones that just kind of make you dream and think big because one of the ones that um, really has inspired such an interest in women mathematicians and things like that, the Hidden Figures right. movie, the uh, Catherine Goebel, you probably heard, uh, ended up actually dying last week. She was 101 years old, so in celebration of her, right. our display is celebrating all of those cutting edge women scientists and mathematicians who are you know, trailblazing for all of our girls today. We love it. Information about the library, where do we go? You can go to the library, uh, if you're on Facebook, the kids' Facebook page is just BPL Kids. The library's website is brookingslibrary.org, or you, of course, you can always call the library 692-9407. Arts Council, brookingsartscouncil.org, 692-4177, or give us, a, give us a call over there, or email us. You're welcome to do that. Um, all of our classes are up for under, you click on the About section, a class registration, and you can head there. Next Tuesday, our connection for the mural, so you should come and head mm -hmm. out to do that, mm -hmm. as well as all these amazing things that are happening at the library, which are free, Yep, open to the public. Our high school exhibition as well is free, mm -hmm. and uh, is open, and we are open on the weekends for you to come and take a look at it, well, too. And it's so. supposed to be beautiful this weekend. Oh, yeah. 50-something. 50, 50 I don't even know what to do. So. A great day to walk around downtown and walk yeah. into the art, you know, in, in, into the Arts Council and just Absolutely. enjoy downtown. Because they're having that sip and shop this oh, Thursday yeah. night. So, yeah. It's beautiful weather. I'm so excited. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, I decided we've gone into uh, no socks weather. That's my favorite kind of weather. So, uh, thanks for joining us today. And we will see you next week. Bye. Bye.